Welcome everyone to another video. Today's video is actually going to be a quite a short video because I just want to showcase something that I think is quite interesting or something that I think will be quite beneficial when it comes to unit testing uh, with React's uh, the React Router DOM. All right, so what I want to showcase here is I have two components or two pages where one is the landing page and another one is the sign up page where I want to uh, in, uh, show some interaction between an event that will move the user from one page to another page through this by, by the unit test, right? So uh, on the landing page, what uh, performing a certain action should move the user to another page. So in this instance, what, uh, at the landing page, let's say, uh, let, let's just, let me show this, right? So on the landing page, you have this kind of a code here, like a form or a signing form or something, which is actually if the user ha doesn't have any accounts, right? Because the form only is for login. So if the user doesn't have an account, they should just click on the sign up button, which will then move them to the sign up page. So you actually want to perform this kind of interaction uh, this kind of test, right? And I think that the best approach is to actually make use of the React, uh, React router components, like the React router ecosystem. So in this case, right here, uh, we have the render function, obviously from uh, the React testing library. Then we am using the latest version of React router, which is React version six, which brings in this components called routes, uh, which is basically kind of like the switch components from the previous versions. So that that's the whole general uh, basic idea behind it. And we have the routes co components, right? So which routes and which component is supposed to show. So right now uh, we have two routes, the home page, which is just a slash, and then we have the sign up page which is just the sign up route, right? So how do we, how do I perform this interaction between these components? When I click on this link, uh, the sign up link, and then move the user to the sign up page. So let's check the, the wrapper. So uh, I have a wrapper function, which is just going to wrap the components inside, you know, uh, it's just going to wrap the components inside a kind of like a defined um, I don't know, define components or anything like that, whichever you want to use here. So in this case, right, I've wrapped the, the components inside a memory router, right, which is where the, which is very important, right? So memory router is basically like the browser router that we can get from a React Router DOM. But in this case, it's just uh, working with memory. So it is temporary, right? as the browser router works with the browser itself. So what you can do with the memory router is that you can perform, you can pass in some initial entries, which in this case, what component or what page do you want to show when the route, uh, when the, uh, the router is mounted, right? In this case, I want to just show the, uh, the home page, right? Because that's where I want to start my test from. So with the initial entries with a slash, and so then, render the landing page components, right? Which will then run, write a test to actually check to see if the landing page actually exists using the, whichever of the, the any of the standard testing ways that you want to perform, whether you're going to check for a button, check for a text, anything that you want to make use of, right? So it will render this page initially, right? And then I want to perform an event which will then move the user to the second page. In this case, we want to actually click on this button right here. So when, uh, click on this link. So when you click on the sign up link, it should then move the user to the sign up page, which in this case, I'm actually performing that or writing a test for that or event for that. Is it the user event uh, testing library? Then I click on that link, which now I'm supposed to wait for the uh, sign up page to show up with this information there, right? To actually test that this the sign up page renders, which is enter your credentials to create an account, right? And then in order to actually see if what I'm doing is correct, when I move to the sign up page, uh, we actually have a uh, the text over here, which I'm going to use that as the basis to ensure that the user does move from one page to another. When I run the test, so it, it, the test passes, right? So I think this is quite a good approach 
uh, when it comes to testing components or testing events that makes use of the React Router DOM, right? So you have a memory router, which is going to wrap all your components inside the router, uh, React Router uh, ecosystem. And then you can bring in an entry, initial entry, or the routes that you want to show for that particular page. And then you can perform various events with that particular interaction. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, if this approach is useful, or if you think mocking the React, uh, the React Router DOM components is a much better solution in such a case. All right. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.